This is a hardware overview of a ProXR series relay controller. Uh, this controller has got a USB interface installed. We've got many other interface modules available, including Ethernet, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, RS-232, and others. Here we've got a 2.1 millimeter barrel connector with a center positive connection. This is used to power the controller. We have an optional uh, direct wired power solution over here where you can wire your own power supply to the controller. Here we've got a program run jumper. Uh, normally the controller stays in run mode. Uh, however, if you ever need to recover any settings out of the microprocessor, you can, you can restore uh, to the original default settings by setting it into program mode and then running base station software. Uh, this controller is organized into four banks of relays. In other words, a bank is a group of eight relays. And uh, uh, this is bank one, bank two, bank three, and bank four. Now this is real important in base station software because you will be talking to each of these relay banks uh, through that software. Each relay has got three connections, a normally open, a common, and a normally closed. This allows you to wire uh, items such as a light so that the light is always on or always off uh, depending on your wiring configuration and the light will change state when the relay is activated. Um, so we've got 12 connection points per group of four relays. Um, let's see, over here we have an XR expansion port. This XR expansion port is used to add more relays to this controller, so if 32 is not enough, you can add solid state relays, other mechanical relays, high power relays, um, DPDT relays, whatever you need. Any of our XR, XR series controllers will plug into this port. Uh, this controller also features a socketed chipset. The socketed chipset is there uh, in case the, the, the controller ever receives any damage of any kind. It's field serviceable. So all you have to do is remove these chips and replace it with a low cost uh, set of chips and then you're back up and running. This controller also has a UXP expansion port which is used to add additional expansion options to this controller. ProXR controllers equipped with a UXB expansion port can uh, have three different expansions plugged in. Uh, you can only have one of each kind plugged in, but you can chain a few of them together. This is a 12-bit A to D converter. This allows uh, 16 channels of 12-bit 0 to 5 volt um, voltage inputs on this controller. You can have up to three of these shared on a single UXP port. Uh, this is a great way to add uh, sensor monitoring, a, a high resolution sensor monitoring uh, to your UXP series relay controller. Um, here we have a contact closure input. Um, you can have up to 256 banks of inputs can be connected in a series um, off of one UXP port. Uh, each one of these chips represents one bank, so this particular controller has got two banks on it. <clears throat> Contact closure inputs can be used to detect switches, uh, just wire switches to each of these uh, bank inputs. This is bank one, uh, you would wire up eight switches to bank one, this is bank two, and you've got eight switches you can wire up to this bank. As you press the switches, uh, you, can, you can see in the ProXR software, the base station software, you can see uh, a graphical representation of what's happening um, with each of these inputs. Now keep in mind this is a pulled based system. You're, any of these, these controllers are going to require you to ask the input status. You're never going to get it automatically. You're going to have to always ask what is the input status. This is a potentiometer output. Uh, this is kind of a fun uh, expansion for our, our uh, UXP series controller. It allows you to set an 8-bit resolution you can set potent potentiometer outputs. Now these potenti potentiometers are a, a very low power potentiometer. They're 8 bit resolution. We have them available in 10K, 50K, and 100K values. There are three connections per potentiometer and uh, there are four potentiometers uh, per group here and then so we have uh, four, eight, 12 and 16 total potentiometers on this expansion. 
Um, this uh, you can also chain more potentiometers. Again, you can have up to 256 of these chips total can be communicated uh, through one UXP port. Uh, now, uh, keep in mind, once again, it's not possible to mix these on a single UXP port. You have to choose which UXP expansion you want to use, and then that's pretty much all you can have on the expansion port from there on out. Please let us know if you have more questions. We'd be glad to help you out. Thank you.